let's get going. Here we go for the third trial. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they have gathered to the red door. And as soon as we were all there... My what the fuck?! Appears. Uh, he's multiplied?! Um. Nope, not multiplication, it just looks that way cause it's an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you tell which one is the real Monokuma? Both of you. That's a trick question, it's both of you. <sighs> Can we just get on with the elevator already? Boy, tough crowd. You're not playing along, along, along. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Hey, well, that was hey. completely pointless. Then, if everyone's here, let's ready to go. Please board to the paying train or elevator. I'll see you guys down there. All right. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> Please! Hold on! I'm not mentally prepared yet! What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared! You can't run away anymore, hero! You're gonna pay for your sins! What the heck? I told you already! I didn't do it! For serious! Mm. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? <sighs> um, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate that it would seem we have our culprit. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the classroom or courtroom. Right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then we can. S then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to. I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Ifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who stays alive, and for the two who had lost their lives. <laughs> The one who killed Ifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here. Alright, let's do this. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk towards the elevator. Once everyone was aboard... Alright. The doors closed on their own. And the steel box began to move. Oh my god, this just feels shorter and shorter as days go by. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as they fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settle all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to stop. The, ele the elevator door slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. <laughs> Well, I see all of you have gathered together like this. I realize how few of you are there left, so your school life is slowly reaching its climax. <laughs> Only because of you? <sighs> Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? What? What? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute! Come on. Stop goofing around and let me begin the trial. <laughs> Don't rush me! Of course, I'm going to start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the next action back class trial after the commercial break! I never hold out on you like that! Okay, let's begin! Get to your assigned seats! Okay, and so, the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle and a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly crash trial. Oh, well, I could have saved this time too, but eh, oh well. Okay, I guess I'll save. Here we go. So, what's the new um, abilities? We Hold on, wait a minute. It's, a it's set skill, sorry. What new abilities could we have? Alright, so we could increase the time limit. Okay. Robot Jock, what does that do? Get increased your truth bullet rate of fire. Breathing technique. The focus gauge recovers more quickly. Effective during. Okay, cost four, that's fine. So we have three more left. This one costs 4. Allows you to reload 2 bullets at once. Effective during- okay. Say so, we could either reload 2 bullets at once, or... Focus gauge recovers more quickly. Effective during the non-stop debate- okay. That could work. Unless... Increase the damage of the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during bullet- fuck that, I don't give a shit about that, fuck it. 
I'm really perfectly fine with the bullet time rhythm game anyway, so... Increase the truth when rate buyer effective. Okay. I think these are the skills I'm prepared for. So without further ado, let's begin preparations. Or finish preparations. Class trial. All rise. God, let's both of my friends next to each other are dead. Trial. If you can figure out who can yeah, we know it. punish everyone besides now. Okay. We already know who did it. Was that? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place. And we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! Oh, how ironic! Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit. To be fair, it was discovered by Byakuya, so for all intents and purposes, it's all, it is also possible that he could have placed it into his room. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is Hero really the killer, or... Before anything else, we have to make this... That... Ugh. Before anything else, we have to make that clear. Alright. Let's look at the testimonies. Make your arguments! Let's do this. That's the hero's message. Alright, this is very easy. Everything we found in your room. Uh... What are the buttons again? <laughs> Hold on. Oops, shit! No, no! Fuck! God damn, I keep... Okay, controls, there we go. Alright, aim, silence, so we shoot with the X button, got it. Fast forward argument with circle, handbook, okay. Trying to fire truth bullets. Wait, what? Oh no, X is to silence the noise background as well. It's triangles to fire the bullets. Okay, got it. Uh, select truth bullets, concentrate. Okay, got it. I think I. So, okay. Alright, I got it. Awesome. Alright. I don't know anything about that stuff! It's not true, it's a conspiracy! Okay. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! Alright, that's the hero's message. What was there in the thing? I mean, looking at the blueprints, the handwriting is awfully messy. So, someone... So, someone could have sended him the blueprints. Either that, or it's someone else's. If I remember, hero's handwriting is... Everything right. we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Okay. I, I, I don't know anything, it's not true, it's a good scare of No! Just hold on a second! Okay. So it seems like Aoi and Celeste are definitely pinpointing them without a doubt. It should be a true. found in your room. Alright, that's true. The blueprints, the suit parts. No, it's wrong! Alright. Blueprints have different handwritings, that's for damn sure, without a doubt. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? Not only that, but I think he's stupid, too stupid to make blueprints in the first place. Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. That is po that is also another possibility as well. The differences are bigger than that, I think. I, I mean, it's possible. I mean, you can have very nice things. I, I could easily make my handwriting different just from using uh, between my left hand or my right hand. So it is definitely possible to have some sort of drastically different handwriting as well. Come on. I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So Makoto, are you saying you don't think you're the culprit? I'm not saying that, I'm just saying a contradiction within our testimony so far. And he is not the only one. I think Hiro is innocent as well. What? Then who was in that robo-justice suit? Well, that was obviously Hiro, but maybe... Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? We haven't actually seen the guy running around in, the in this suit, though. We only see a picture of it. Which was presented by Celeste, so... Mm. The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. Well, it is Hero. 
Hero's in the suit, without a doubt, but... And of course he passes it off on me. Fucking Say, hell. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? It's obviously Oh my god, god damn it. The suspicious individual, it's <coughs> Yellow and I. No, it's obviously not Hina, it's obviously Hero. Hero was in the suit, but that doesn't mean he was the one that killed people. I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular. The Illuminati. What the oh fuck? It's God. obvious. It was obviously the Illuminati here. <laughs> okay, obviously he was the one that in the particular suit and was never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. Yes, but that just means that he could carry the suit. That doesn't mean he is. I mean, he is still a suspect without a doubt. But that doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption! And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. All right. Hey, stop trying to boss us around. All things have a proper order. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. Oh, well, that's obvious. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. We're using the dolly and tarp. Koto, can you tell us what they were? Things that have been used to move Taka's body must have been this. I got it. There's still one more thing. Okay. The thing that was used. Okay. They're really gonna give us a time limit for this shit. Come on. Here we go. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? What's with his attitude? So let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. But they obviously left bloodstains. Okay, that explains the tar. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. It's very glow polygon esque, -esque though. <laughs> Looks weird. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Okay. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? That could be true. She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. We have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Celeste, you don't have to boss me around. I accepted that I might be wrong. It's just that you don't... Well, I never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. But maybe I can change her mind. If I can just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved to the equipment room. To the repository. Well, actually no, we had the blood stain as well. With the, uh, thingamajiggy. A new element with... Fuck me, really? Alright, what's this new element? Let's talk about reloading. Starting with the next bullet time battle, we're gonna add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo maker, you'll see an ammo count. Up until now, there really hasn't been a limit to how you destroy your opponent's statements. But from now on, just locking on and pressing triangle button won't be enough to handle them. 
Now, it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements no matter how locked you are. However, you can reload by pressing square. You can also reload by tapping the- okay. Just like locking on, you have to press the square button in a time- okay. Or simply tap the screen. Basically, you remember the square button now has a function along with these- okay. It will automatically reload at the start of fever time, and your ammo will not decrease. Okay. Oh, but if your action difficulty is set to gentle, you'll have to reload it all. In which case, you can ignore everything I just said! So, if you're in gentle mode, ignore the statement altogether. Got it. Why not just not include the tutorial in the first place? What? Oh. What was this thing again? Wrong. I oh, shit. Agree. You are a fool. Oh, it's this thing again. Really? Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Yeah, this is very easy. So it's part of this. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I got go. Shoo. I cannot agree. All right, I have to. Okay, no, no, from me, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn it, mom. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. Final strike, here we go. I Equipment bloodstain. Bam. So it's this bullshit again. So who cares because the thing is. You know, this, yeah, this mode is just stupid entirely. I don't get You're it. You're asking for proof that the dolly moved. I have it right. You know what else I could have done? Just present the fucking dolly being moved with the blood stain. Fuck. When I found the dolly in the repository. One of the wheels had a blood stain. Can I just do that instead of using the stupid mini game? There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire marking that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. <laughs> Jeez, does Celeste really hate me that much? Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. If I look at how the body was moved, it'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. Well, first off, it was very hard to move in that suit in the first place, isn't it? So... What does he mean by that? Not only that, but if he really was the murderer, wouldn't there be bloodstains as well? Alright, whatever. Make your argument. Let's do this. Robot Justice costume. We only have one bullet right now. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. There's no objection there. There. The body was moved to the repository, correct? Uh-huh. Yeah. The culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Uh -huh. Keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah. That is true. Even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. Robot Justice can't do that, though, right? So the killer just crouched down and carted the body off to the repository. If you accept everything we just said, then you must realize that whoever was in the suit couldn't possibly be the culprit. Uh. Sorry, I, I don't think I realize anything. Okay. The dolly doesn't have any handles, so to push it, you'd have to be able to bend over. The knees do not have the ability to bend over. So that's obviously the answer right there. Now, bend over. Bam, bitch! No, it's wrong. There we go. Alright, we're getting good at this. We know how to we know how to problem solve real quickly at least. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? 
It was very hard to bend down. There are no proper knees. Yeah, even your testimony yourself you're say you can't seat. bend it. Not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly with your feet? That is also an... Well, you can't see your feet, can you? When you can't even see your feet? Yeah. You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? Yeah, it'd be totally impossible! Shut up. Top of that, if you were wearing such a... You have nothing to gain from this argument, fucking Jill. It's very unlikely you have uh. the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. That's also true, too. Isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? But it's very hard to take off the suit, isn't it? There's absolutely no chance that costume was taken off to the movie because... I got it. I don't this is a very easy trial so far. If you remember... Alright, I don't know why these parts are not dialogue, but the last trial is. It didn't make the frick, stupid freaking thing. Alright, we got it. true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. That is true. You really can't take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up? Uh, of course I wasn't making it up. Now, there is one thing that's putting him against each uh, its odds, and that is, um, what's his face's name? Hifumi saying Hero killed Hifumi. So, that is one thing that I'm very, very curious about. He could have gotten it off by himself. I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect him. Yeah, that's right! So, it's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? That is, again, that's. Mm, it's very hard to deny that. How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. Robo Justice, or that's what I called him just now. So, so he was very much present. The proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah that's gotta be right. So you think that maybe he's just trying to persuade us to think in a different location? That is true. It's very difficult to hold on a second. It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. That is true. There's really evidence pointing him away from his into his defense, but also there's still some evidence that we're trying to figure out how to process as well. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it before we rush to a verdict. Shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Obviously, yes. Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps, but where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe we'll uncover something new. <laughs> what a- I Shut! disagree, but our lives are on the line. Plus, All right. maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. All right then, let's take another look back at what happened. And before we do that, it's almost 25 minutes, so we'll be taking a really quick break. And st well, as a quick break, I mean three days break. <laughs> because by the time you guys are watching this episode, it'll be uploaded three days later. Anyways, so be right back and stay tuned for the next episode.